Kevin. What are you playing with now? <laughs> this is a family channel. We can't get into that. This is Everlast uh, Power Plasma 80S. So it's a plasma cutter, a big plasma cutter, 80 amps worth of cutting. Uh, just got it the other day. It's a pretty basic little panel setup. You've got your air pressure gauge and your amp control with a display. You've got, you know, the on light, the over temp light and the uh, voltage light, you know, over voltage, I guess. And then you've got the uh, little light here that comes on that tells you when it's okay, when you've got enough air pressure to be able to run the machine. And there's a, a uh, air pressure regulator with a water separator on the back of the machine. So you just go plug your hose in, you can adjust it back there, but it shows up up here. And on this side, you've got your uh, post flow adjustment for your air pressure, you know, for your air flow when you're done cutting, how much air do you want to flow to help cool the torch off. And then you've got a 4T and 2T on the trigger, a pilot arc setting, or the normal setting, no pilot arc, and then you've got a airflow test switch just so you can test and make sure your air pressure is correct. You know, you would flip that to test. Air comes out of the end of the gun. You can adjust it over here. Make sure you got the air pressure that you want on your, on your gauge. Flip it back, go back to work. And of course you got your ground hookup, your torch hookup, the business end of everything. Nice torch, I think. You know, it's got a good feel to it. It's got a nice trigger guard, you know, the safety, so you don't accidentally touch it and turn the machine on. And then it's got this little drag guard on the tip itself, so you don't have to freehand it. And then the on-off stay, the on-off switch, you know, way in the back back here. You got to dig around to find it. Little uh, circuit breaker switch back there. So I've got some metal. You know, this is rated to. If I remember right, this is rated to cut an inch and a half and sever up to inch and three quarter. I've got a piece of inch and a half over here on the bench. What the heck? Let's give it a try. So as you can hear, this one's got a pretty good size fan in it because you're pulling 80 amps out of this thing. It needs some cooling on it. So it's a little on the noisy side, but you don't run it for that long, really. You're just going to chop through something, you know, make a cut through something and turn it back off again. So let me put the rest of my stuff on here. We'll start on the one inch side, cut across here, and then hop up to the inch and a half side and cut it across. It's over tempting. Oh boy, you can definitely tell the difference. Now here's the one inch. Nice, nice. Other than my shaking, but that looks pretty good through there. Boy, and then the minute I hopped up to the inch and a half, you know, the cut quality kind of went a little ragged there. And then I, I think I hit the over temp on the machine because it quit working right there. Let it cool down a minute and it would come back and finish the cut. Of course, as you can see from me, you know, it's only like, oh, I don't know, 110 in here <laughs> with the cooler running. 
So it's a little on the warm side. So yeah, I can give the machine a pass for that. As I imagine, if I started from this end and went back the other way, you know, it, it might make a different cut. That could have also been simply because the half inch is not welded to the inch piece. You know, it's just clamped on the top. So, so I'll take part of the blame for that. You know, the machine wants to do it. You know, it just may not be set quite right or operator error. But boy, that one inch, whew, it just smokes right through that one inch. Nice solid machine. You know, lots of, lots of oomph. You know, the, the basics on the machine, yeah, it's a you know, 220 only machine. Um, it's a 1250, $1,250 over on the Everlast website. And yeah, if you're interested in one, you know, give me a call. You know, I, I do represent them. I do, I can order it for you also. So that would help pay for some of my videos. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get out of this. I'm dying here. It's too hot. I'm going to go take a break. We'll see you guys next time. Hey, Kevin. Using your x-ray vision? What? Okay, that one didn't work, huh?